Nender Monastery was a Christian monastery on McGee Island in Strangford Law, County Down, in Northern Ireland. Medieval records say it was founded in the 5th century, but this is uncertain. The monastery came to an end at some time between 974 and 1178, but its church served as a parish until the site was abandoned in the 15th century. Some remains of the monastery can still be seen today. The island monastery of Nendrum was traditionally founded in the 5th century by Mokai, after whom Magee Island is named, although a later date for the foundation has been suggested. Mokai, like the name of many Irish saints, is a pet name. His proper name was Carlin, and according to tradition, he was appointed by St. Patrick himself. However, dendrochronology has dated a tide mill on the island to the year 619, making this the oldest excavated tide mill anywhere in the entire world. The monastic site included orchards, gardens, pastures, arable fields and a guest house. In his Ecclesiastical Antiquities of Down, Connor and Dromore, William Reeves notes that several annals recorded the death of St. Mokai of Nendrum at a variety of dates between 490 and 497 AD. He considers that Nendrum was early chosen as the seat of a bishop, quoting the annals of Tigernach and the annals of Ulster, both of which describe Cronin, who died in 640 AD, as Bishop of Nendrum. There are reference to Nendrum in various sources, such as the Annals of the Four Masters between the 7th century and 974 AD, when the Four Masters record that Sidna Undamen, abbot of Nendrum, was consumed in his own house. This is read as meaning that Sidna was burnt, perhaps during a Viking raid, and is the last heard of Nendrum in the Annals. Reeves says that probably it was pillaged and demolished soon after by the Danes whose ships were continually floating in Strangford Lock. When the next occurs, it belongs to property of the Sea of Down, with which John de Courcy in 1178 takes the liberty of making it over to the monks of an English abbey. It would seem, however, that long ere it's held some tributary relation to the Sea of Down. The English monks were Benedictines and founded a cell on Mahi Island. However, in 1306 Nendrum was recorded as a parish church and during the 5th century it was abandoned for a new site at Turinakil. The location of Nendrum was lost until it was rediscovered in 1844 by William Reeves who visited the island searching for the church recorded in 1306 and recognised the remains of a round tower. Since being excavated by H.C. Lawler between 1922 and 1924, with the resulting finds now kept in the Ulster Museum, the site has been much restored. The rectangular bending yielding about 30 slate tablets bearing Celtic designs. These trial pieces are now in the Ulster Museum, along with a bell and a stone with an inscription in runes from the site. Parts of the site were excavated later by A.C. Thomas in 1954, by D. Waterman in the 1960s, and N. Brannan in 1979 and 1982. Lawler's work was the first extensive excavation of such a large ecclesiastical site, and his technique has been criticised by modern standards. But one of the reasons for Nendam's importance to archaeologists is that it is still the only major of its site of its kind which has been subject to a published excavation report. The principal monastic remains, which can now be seen with three concentric cachelles, enclosures of dry stone walling, but these were substantially rebuilt by Lawler in the 1920s. The central cachelle has the round tower remains, a ruined church with a sundial and a graveyard. The second cachelle contains what is called a monastic school or worship and other burials. The canical sundial, uh, now seen at one corner of the ruined church, was reconstructed from fragments found during the excavation in the site in 1924 and has been dated to about the year 900. 
One of only a few early medieval sundials known to exist, it takes the form of a vertical stone pillar 190 centimeters high, 40 centimeters wide, and 15 centimeters thick, with the dial and gnome on the face at the top. However, because of the nature of the reconstruction, the original height of the pillar is pure conjecture.